Apple Valley News now live at six is seconds away. Coming up, an update in the Fred Meyer shooting investigation. Our Alyssa Warner will join us live with the very latest. A driver on his way to drop his kids off at school comes across a major disaster along I-82 eastbound that will shut down that area right near Zilla for a few days. Now it's not a sinkhole what crews say this is. And a mild start to our work week, but things are going to be changing in the next few days. I'll get to all the details in my first alert weather forecast. Plus, new at six, some Yakima City employees express concerns about other workers leaving for other cities. Emily Goodell will take a closer look at that coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at six on your side. Good Monday evening. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a good weekend. I'm Austin Reed. Our big story tonight, the man who shot two people, killing one inside the Richland Fred Meyer more than two years ago, will not be going to jail or even going to trial. Apple Valley News Now's Alyssa Warner joins us live from Richland with the results of a very high profile court hearing this afternoon. Alyssa. Austin, it was two years ago, almost to the day that I stood here in this very spot outside the Richland Fred Meyer, watching first responders comb the store. They were looking for a shooter who had shot two people, as you said, killing one, then went on the run. It was almost 12 hours later that investigators finally tracked him down near Spokane. Today, Aaron Kelly appeared in court here in Benton County. The latest in a long line of hearings since February of 2022. Today, the judge accepted his plea of not guilty due to insanity. She made that decision after hearing more than an hour of emotional statements from victims, including Justin Crumbaugh's family, the man who was killed, explaining how the shooting impacted them and why they believe that the shooter should not be allowed to plead insanity and avoid a civil trial. If Kelly was insane and was unable to tell right from wrong on February 7th, 2022, when he walked into Fred Meyer, not only why did he get out of town so fast, why did he empty his bank account, why did he change his clothes, why did he remove his license plate, why did he smear mud on the back, why did he try to hide his gun under the seat, but why would he be worried about committing a crime in one state and being arrested in, in another? Now, that is a criminal trial the shooter will avoid, not a civil one. I must spoke there. And we heard a lot of pain, a lot of sadness in the courtroom today. People mourning Crumbaugh, mourning the feeling of security, which many people said was shattered by that deadly shooting two years ago. In the end, though, the judge said that she had to follow the law, saying that multiple mental health experts had told the court the shooter was not sane at the time of the crime. The court finds that taken as a whole, the conclusions of the three experts, two of the state's experts and one defense er expert, all reach the same conclusion that at the time the defendant committed the charges, he was suffering from a mental disease or defect affecting his mind to the extent that he was unable to perceive the nature and quality of the act charged. Now, this means, as you mentioned, Austin, no trial for the shooter, no jail time. The prosecution and the defense did agree, however, that he is too dangerous to be set free. So he will be kept in state custody at a mental hospital, potentially for the rest of his life. Now, Benton County Prosecutor Eric Isinger did speak briefly after the hearing today. He said basically his office had tried to take this to trial, had tried to really crack down on it. But as you heard from the judge, multiple mental health experts had all agreed that insanity was the cause here, that there wasn't any legal precedent to go to trial because it would have resulted, he said, in the same thing in this insanity ruling and this man going to the mental health hospital for the rest of his life. Now, Isinger did not take questions from the media today. We were told to reach out to his office later this week for some more answers. We will be doing that. But for right now, Austin, I will send it back to you in the studio. 
All right, Alyssa Warner, live in Richland. Thank you for that. Fishermen discovered human remains in the Columbia River near Plymouth this weekend. Law officers, along with Benton County Fire and Dive Rescue, successfully recovered the body. Detectives identified the human remains as Chance Chunsi Townsend. He had been missing from the Plymouth area since December 2023. As of right now, there hasn't been a cause of death released. Detectives are waiting for the Benton County Coroner's Office to conduct an autopsy to determine the cause of death. One in seven men charged in connection with the murder of Rosenda Strong in the fall of 2018 and the conspiracy to cover it up has entered a plea. Andrew Norris Zach pleaded guilty Friday to accessory after the fact. In that agreement, he admits that he helped put Strong's body into a freezer and that after she was murdered, he then helped to dispose of her remains, dumping them in a remote location in Toppenish. He has been out on pretrial release since July 20th, 2023, and is now on home detention, sentenced to three years of supervised release. The trial for the remaining six defendants is set for August the 26th. As we are starting a new week, how's it looking weather-wise? Let's check in with our Stacy Lee. Good evening. I've been watching the dramatic skyline here in our Legends Casino Cam tonight, and the sun has gone down. So we started out, we had sunshine today, we had a few showers come through, and now things are getting chilly outside. Right now it's 50 degrees on the Legends Casino Sky Cam. Our winds are light at 5 miles per hour. We have changes, though, coming. We're talking this, a winter storm watch for the Cascade Mountains, the southern portion in Washington, and all the way down into Oregon even including the Columbia River Gorge. Think the Hood River area could see two to six inches of snow in that lower elevation and one to three feet of snow above 2000 feet. This is going to be from Wednesday into Thursday, so we'll keep a close eye on that. Tonight, locally, partly cloudy with some patchy fog developing. We have a sunny, dry Tuesday ahead of us. We've got rain and a wintry mix headed our way Wednesday night into Thursday, so we could see a few snowflakes lower elevation. Not expecting a huge accumulation, but definitely on the way, and you're going to feel those temperatures dropping a good 10 degrees below the average for this time of year. I'll get to all the d details in my first alert weather forecast. Austin? Stacy, we'll see you then. Thank you. Tomorrow marks Election Day for some voters in Washington state. Most people already know that Washington is a vote by mail state. You should have already received your ballot in the mail. Voters have to have their official ballot left in an official ballot drop box or in the mail by tomorrow night. Don't forget to sign your ballot before returning it as well. After you cast your ballot, be sure to log in to AppleValleyNewsNow.com. We are your best local resource for election results. And you can find more information on all of the issues that voters will decide. Again, AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Speaking of elections, Washington's presidential primary is exactly one month away. The state will hold its presidential primary March the 12th. The deadline for online voter registration and voter registration by mail is March 4th. Ballots returned by mail will need a March 12th postmark to count. Ballot boxes and voting centers will close by 8 p.m. that day. March 29th is also the deadline for Washington's Secretary of State to certify presidential primary results. Here is a talker. A section of eastbound I-82 near Zilla is closed tonight after a part of the road has been deemed unsafe. New at 6, Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma talked to the driver who discovered the danger, and he is being credited tonight for probably saving others from a real disaster. Seth Kerger from Mopto was taking his son to school in Zilla when he noticed an unusual bump in the road. On his way back, he was curious and decided to get out of his car and take a look. I couldn't believe it. I I've never seen anything like that in my life. I, as soon as I stepped off the, the uh, asphalt and it crumbled be beneath me and I fell on my knees, I was like, boy, this is terrible. This is dangerous. Kruger thought at first it was a massive sinkhole, but according to Washdaw, it's called an embankment failure. Yeah, sinkhole is a depression or a hole in the ground. Um, this isn't a depression or a hole in the ground. This is erosion that involves water. Kruger jumped into action and knew he had to warn others. 
So I immediately try and tried to flag people to the other side of the road. But uh, some did, some didn't. But I was parked there with my flashers on, and they're, they know that they're not supposed to pass anybody on the sh- You know, they're supposed to go around them if they're sh- if they're on the shoulder. So I don't blame them there. But yeah, it was just a weird deal. I've never seen anything like that. Kruger says he's glad his curiosity got the best of him. Others are glad too, speaking on social media that he probably stopped a disaster from happening. Then with all the traffic, just it, it would have just been a big pile up. It would have been one car after another slamming into each other. And a lot of people, I feel, could have got seriously hurt. As for I-82 being closed in that section, Cougar says better safe than sorry. I think the benefits of maybe being an inconvenience for a while is, is worth it. At this time, Washtaw is investigating what caused the failure and working out a plan to fix it. Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. What a sight, Monique. Thank you for that and shout out to Seth. All right, the closure, by the way, is affecting the area right around exit 44 to Wapato. Washtaw did not have an exact timeline on repairs. They are looking to their futures. We'll share some more about today's career fair for students in Pasco. Plus, a local eatery suddenly closes, and we have learned about the closure of foodies as well. And let's take a live look outside from our legend sky cam. Stacy Lee is tracking your new work week weather forecast as the news at six is just getting started. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you got to go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at A&W, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just 5 bucks. This all-time great deal is available Tuesdays only at A&W. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Tonight and tomorrow, an explosive two-on-one. She is the problem. You're a troublemaker. I owned up to the things that I said. She is not somebody you would want your wife to be. I cannot give you this, Rose. The story of a country line dancer who gave her pain the boot. This is Shelly. Once I start dancing, I forget where I am. So what was tripping her up? Foot pain, knee pain, and back pain. Then she got fitted for good feet arch supports. It was magical. I knew, oh my gosh, this is what I need to stay on the dance floor. And stay there, Shelly does. That's my happy place. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Step in for your free fitting at the Good Feet Store. Life can be hard. <coughs> With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction, some bath remodels just cover up water damage. Fact, bath fitter inspects and cleans your current tub area and we make any necessary repairs before installing our product for a watertight fit. Bath fitter installations are built to last with a lifetime warranty to fit your expectations. Get the bath that fits you. Bath fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. The road can be a crazy place. Pothole! That's why Let's Drop Tires fixes brakes, steering, and more. And those guys don't. Ugh, keep driving. I'm just glad Let's Drop puts my safety first. So I can backseat drive with confidence. Stop in for our Founder Celebration Sale and save up to $150 on select sets of four tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Country Fried Steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. 
Best of all, it's just $5.99. Yay! Country Fried Steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. I-82's Fred G. Rittman Bridge on Fly the Northwest, Tuesday. We appreciate you staying with us. Two local eateries in the Tri-Cities have announced they are closing down for good. The most recent was announced over the weekend as foodies in Kennewick and Richland are no longer open. New at 6, we spoke with the Tri-Cities Development Council for insight. One thing that is uh, going through the legislature right now, Columbia Basin College, is working with the statewide hospitality association to create a hospitality service uh, center of excellence it's called so it's a it's a system through the community colleges that we have throughout the state where one community college takes the lead on a specific program to offer certificates and degrees in that program so there isn't currently a center of excellence in hospitality we all hope that we'll there'll be legislative funding to establish one at Columbia Basin. Now, Foodies first opened in historic downtown Kennewick a couple of years ago. They reopened at Columbia Park and even opened another location in Richland. Plus, they operated a food truck and catering division, but the popular restaurant group is closing it all down. The locally owned establishment announced over the weekend that due to unforeseen circumstances, Sunday would be their last day in business. Just one week ago, another local restaurant Restaurant Bougie Brunch ceased operations due to the high cost of food prices. While that did have to do with the economy, the director of the Tri Cities Economic Development Council says our local economy is still very strong and he's happy about that. Well, as the overall economy goes, the Tri Cities is the strongest it's ever been and continues to grow. You know, record low unemployment. Uh, strong demand for businesses that want to move here, relocate here, or expand here in the industries that we work in that are more of the base industries like manufacturing, um, ones like that. We, do, we don't track kind of the secondary market that we call it, like restaurants or retail, things like that. But we know that if the base is strong, there's always a lot of pent up demand. Yesterday on social media, one of the owners of Foodies posted that they cannot express the tremendous amount of support the Tri-City has shown Foodies staff and family over the last few years and say they are truly humbled. We wish them nothing but the best. In educational news, February is National Career and Technical Education Month, and Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald and Jessica from Good Morning Northwest, they were some of the speakers today. Let's take a look at the video. One local high school celebrated by having their career day at their school. Chihuahua High School had over 100 different people with various types of jobs come speak to their students. A sports psychologist and Barry told us why it is so important for students to have a career day. Your team, who's helping you get where you want to go? And sometimes it's not family members because they don't know, right? My mom went to nursing school. My dad came from the hills of Missouri and managed to get a master's in EE. And so I said, you don't know. They didn't, they didn't know how to help us. So we had a coach, we had a neighbor, we had a career counselor. I said, so you have to reach out to those people and people that come here. I said, you guys can call me, just text me, make sure your parents know, and then we can help you do things. Make sure the parents know. Yeah, students were also able to choose what speaker and career they wanted to hear from. The event is so students can really get a clear understanding of what skills and education is needed for what they want to do. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. Well, we had a few transient showers come through the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities earlier, and we're still seeing a little bit of pocket of rain here between Walla Walla and Dayton tonight, but that'll be moving out. Things will be drying up. Dust Devil Sky Cam in Pasco, 50 degrees right now. Winds are light at 5 miles per hour, and our sunset was at 517. Let's take a look at radar and satellite. We have a cold front now. Cold air starting to trickle down from Canada, and we're going to continue to see that cooling trend over the next several days. We have a little setup going out on the coast with a big storm coming in uh, late Wednesday into Thursday and uh, that's going to impact those Cascade Mountains. That system this, this morning moved out of the area. Most of that snow now moving off to the east, the Idaho Panhandle and into Montana. So we have a quiet day set up for tomorrow through the area. A few clouds though and possible pockets of fog or dense fog is possible overnight, but we'll see a clearing trend as we head into tomorrow morning. You should see some nice sunshine out there. 
Temperatures a little bit cooler than they were today, but still right about average for this time of year. So enjoy tomorrow. It's going to be our calm day in between systems and then get ready. We've got a big system moving in from the south. Here it comes. We're going to see snow showers in the Wallowa Mountains across the uh, Blue Mountains. Mainly though, the Cascades are being impacted here. The southern portion of the Cascades, think Mount St. Helens and south across the Columbia River Gorge, I-84 through the Dalles. We're expecting three to six inches in those lower elevations in anywhere from one to three feet in our Cascade Mountains all the way down into Oregon. So pretty substantial system. It's going to bring quite a bit of snow to the Cascades. Now uh, down below we'll see rain and possibly some snowflakes early on as the day warms up that'll transition to rain showers. About a 40% chance on Wednesday and Thursday for Yakima. Same thing in the Tri-Cities. Rain mixed with snow. Not expecting a big accumulation. However, we are going to be wet. We'll have a little break on Friday. A stronger chance of seeing those showers or rain mix closer to the foothills of the blues in Walla Walla. 50% chance there in that dry day on Friday. So you have Tuesday and Friday day off going to get a little bit stormy. Here's where we see a big change in the weather. Our temperature drop. We've been running above average. Temperatures have been pleasant. A lot of people are thinking, oh my gosh, it's spring. Well, no, we're still in winter and look at these temperatures. We're going to drop down 10 degrees below the average by Thursday for most of our area and uh, even more so in some regions. So just be ready for that. Tonight we're going to see chilly temperatures in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. We're in the upper 20s, even the low 20s in Cle Elum tonight, 29 for Sunnyside and Yakima. Taking a peek into the Columbia Basin, chilly temperatures here as well with those upper 20s, low 30s, right at that freezing level or just below. And for Dayton, Walla Walla, Milton Freewater and Pendleton, we'll see those upper 20s and low 30s overnight tonight. But look for pockets of fog possible. Mostly sunny, cooler temps tomorrow, just slightly. We were a little over 50 degrees today, 48 uh, for the Columbia Basin. We'll be in the mid 40s along the foothills and those lower 40s in the Kittitas Valley. Weather photos. I'm going to step out of the way so you can appreciate this one. On top of Badger Mountain, there were light winds about three miles an hour, clearing it out. But look down below, you see that socked in fog. That's what we've been dealing with in those lower elevations. Thanks to our friend Rick for sending this in. Remember to get outside, snap your photos, send them to me, S. Lee at AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Love to get those on the airwaves for you. Austin. All right, Stacy, thank you. Yeah, keep those picks coming. Up next, a consumer alert. Learn about a refrigerator recall as the news at six is back in just a bit. Welcome to Tony's Big Cheese Pizza. How may I help you? I want some of that amazing cheese bread. I want chicken wings. I want pizza and bread sticks, please. You'll love Tony's Big Cheese Pizza in the plaza at 24 and now Hill. Experience winter fun at Silver Mountain Resort. Enjoy some of the best terrain in the region, only 30 minutes east of Coeur d'Alene, right off I-90. Relax in a beautiful condo, just a stroll away from dining, water slides, indoor surfing, and 84 degrees. And a gondola ride away from our covered carpet lift, tubing, and acres of snow rider heaven. Family memories are made at Silver Mountain. Book today at silvermt.com. Now is the perfect time to get a big deal on a brand new Honda. Honda is Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand. That means deals on Pilot, on CRV, on HRV, on Accord, on Civic, and the rest of the Honda lineup. And right now, well qualified buyers can get 3.9% APR financing on the Honda Pilot or HRV. But don't wait. For big deals on America's best brand, hurry into your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer today. with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of our game. Bundle up. Toyota. Right now, get $1,000 bonus cash when you purchase a new Tundra or Tundra Hybrid. Find yours at toyota.com.
Toyota. Let's go places. Next week's plans. Where are we going? Yes. Running with the bulls. Oh, running with the bulls. <laughs> African safari. Okay. Caribbean cruise. Yeah, Caribbean cruise. Right. Wyoming. Supreme. Yakima's hometown pizzeria at 24th and Knob Hill. We have a consumer alert for you on this Monday night. A major recall issued for a popular brand of refrigerator, Electrolux. Now recalling more than 380,000 refrigerators, side by side ones with slim ice buckets like you see on your TV here. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the ice bucket assembly components can actually break, causing plastic pieces to land in the ice bucket, which could potentially cause choking or a laceration. The company has had at least 343 reports of such incidents. You can find more information about the recall on the Consumer Protection Safety Commission's website. Well, a special celebration took place over the weekend. Learn more about this year's Lunar New Year. Jessica Jalor, Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. Weekday mornings from 5 to 7. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Say less, get more. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Choose from Bacon McDouble, McChicken, McDouble, or Hot and Spicy McChicken. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Are you an experienced machinist? We have a job for you. Pasco Machine is hiring now. We offer generous wages, overtime, double time, full medical, paid holidays, and four-day work schedule. Apply online today at pascomachine.com. Magical moments. Snowy adventures. Warming up. Making memories. A winter wonderland. The perfect close-by getaway this winter is Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Find countless ways to play and plan your escape at cdawinter.com. Four score and seven years ago is a pretty great way to start a speech. But if it's also the same age as your furniture, it might be time for a home refresh during the President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend and check out special purchases while they last. Plus, six years no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices, guaranteed. The President's Day Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. Oh wow, U.S. Cellular works great out here. <laughs> We'll have 5G here too. Hey, I wonder if US Cellular lets me stream in my rec room. Yep, it's working. Hey, thanks for the lift. Test drive US Cellular's award winning network free for 30 days. Want free college or career training? It's possible. In life's delicate moments, Turn to the compassionate experts at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Whether it's hospice, palliative, or grief care for adults and children, we are here for you in Benton and Franklin counties. And the best part, our grief support comes at no cost to you. When life gets tough, we're here to guide you, ensuring you live your best life, even through the toughest moments. Visit us today at tccbestlife.org. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 
Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Here sits the McDonald's hash brown, the side that makes every breakfast sandwich better. Let's all be more like the hash brown. Your breakfast favorites are even better with a rich, medium iced coffee for just $2.29. Celebrations for the Lunar New Year attracted a lot of attention over the weekend. The event draws crowds to Edmonds, Washington on the west side of our state. The celebration featured several performances to introduce people to why this holiday is so special. Take this Lunar New Year to celebrate your loved ones, your culture, whatever you're doing, do it together because we're stronger as one community. 2024 is the year of the dragon. My year, yes. Each year of the lunar calendar has a corresponding zodiac animal. So yeah, this is a big year. All right, next at 6.30, we have rising concerns, union leaders and city workers speaking out about workers leaving for other cities. Plus, honoring the legacy of a woman who's worked to preserve Yakima nation culture and heritage. The area's only live and local newscast at 6.30 is next. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. I am Austin Reed. Our big story at 6.30 is fresh in this half hour. With employees packing a Yakima City Council meeting to support union members and leaders as they brought forward concerns about the number of staff leaving to other cities where they can be paid more for the same kind of work. But Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us those concerns focus on a cycle that they want broken. The union says the more employees who leave to go to a job with better pay, the more work there is for those employees who stay behind, leading to burnout and then a cycle that repeats itself when those employees also decide to leave. Corrections officer Brian Dean says staffing levels at the city jail haven't improved in two years. And we continue to struggle to fill vacancies. The results in which results in mandatory overtime and officer burnout. Dean himself putting in 450 hours of overtime in just one year. Our normal number of hours worked in a month is 173 hours. This amount is, of overtime is equal to, to me adding an extra two months worth of hours worked for the year. Plus, Dean says it takes a city officer three years to get to the highest rate of pay for that position. But they could make that same amount as a new hire at the Yakima County Jail. AFSCME Union President David Macias says the lack of competitive wages is a problem in departments across the city. Within this past year, we lost a wastewater treatment, uh, treatment operator one to the city of Sela, a much smaller tax base, a much smaller wastewater treatment plant. And yet they can start our former employee at $3.29 more an hour. Plus, they get longevity pay, a bonus for staying with the city for a certain number of years, something the city of Yakima stopped offering for employees hired after 2012. As if that wasn't bad enough, the city of Sela offers medical, dental, vision premiums paid by the city of Sela. To ensure yourself, your spouse, and one dependent, it costs our employees $616.41 a paycheck. Nathan Wallace with Yakima Transit says while their motto is, we're here for you, the staffing shortages make it hard to live up to that promise. Drivers are burning out due to excessive overtime to compensate for the shortage, which has the potential to lead to safety issues. These added stressors also impact individuals' health, which results in even more of a stress to cover illness, leave, and etc. Wallace says it's not just impacting drivers, but the services they can provide, like shuttles to popular events. We've had to cancel the Luminary event because of driver shortage and future events such as the Fair and the Fourth of July may soon follow. Wallace says the city needs to make a change to recruit and retain employees. Wages need to be competitive. The minimal increase received to date barely covers the additional government payroll deductions mandated the last few years much less the cost of living increases. I reached out to interim city manager Dave Zabel, who was out sick today, but he did tell me that he appreciated the union's respectful approach to bringing up those concerns and that he would talk to me as soon as he got back to work. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.
Emily on your side here at 630. Thank you. Let's talk weather now. Stacy Lee joining us live with a first look at your forecast in our 630 half hour. You've been getting a lot of weather pictures. Lots of weather pictures coming in and get ready. We're counting down to these pivotal days. Just two days now till Valentine's Day. 27 days till we spring forward. That's the one that you lose an hour. So get ready for that. Spring officially begins in 36 days and it's 48 days now till Easter. 50 degrees in our Legends Casino Sky Cam. Uh, cloudy skies out there tonight, but dry. We got through that rainy period we had. Now this is what we're keeping our eyes on. We have a winter storm watch for the Cascade Mountains in the uh, southern Washington portion. Think uh, Mount St. Helens area right on through the Columbia River Gorge. Could see two to six inches of snow in the lower elevation and one to three feet of snow above 2000 feet. So that's quite a storm. And again, that'll start uh, rolling in Wednesday afternoon evening into Thursday. Partly cloudy with some patchy fog possible around the area tonight. A little bit on the chilly side as well. Let's take a look at our next seven days. If you want to plan things out, there's where we're going to get a little bit stormy Wednesday, Thursday. So do enjoy tomorrow's sunshine and mild temperatures. Uh, we'll have a little bit of a chance of rain into the weekend. There's that stormy weather on Wednesday, Thursday for Walla Walla and Hermiston. So again, get out there. Enjoy the sunshine for tomorrow. I'll get to all the details in your first alert full weather forecast. Austin. All right, Stacy, we'll see us soon. We're learning more about what happened inside a Texas church yesterday when a woman armed with an assault rifle opened fire before an afternoon service. In the moments that followed, the suspect was killed, but others were injured, including a child who remains in critical condition. Reporter Laura Aguirre has more on what witnesses are saying and the message that the shooter reportedly had written on her gun. I started screaming, there's a shooter, there's a shooter. Terrifying moments described by those who were inside celebrity pastor Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, Sunday. We went scared and then we went to the, to the chairs to try to protect us. My mom and me were so worried. Nine-year-old Ethan Rodriguez hid in a bathroom with his dance class as gunshots rang out just ahead of the afternoon Spanish service. 20, 24. Police say a woman in her 30s armed with a weapon and accompanied by a seven-year-old child opened fire just inside the entrance. She had a long gun and it could have been a lot worse, but they stepped up and they did, they did their job. They are two off-duty law enforcement officers who were working security at the church. The city's police chief says they shot and killed the suspect. The seven-year-old and a male bystander were injured by gunfire. Houston's police chief says they're still investigating who fired the bullets that hit them. A federal law enforcement source tells CNN the woman's gun, an AR-15, had the word Palestine written on it. It's way too early to determine a motive for the shooter's actions. Indications that mental health played a role in an early investigation. Pastor Joel Osteen told reporters the outcome could have been much more tragic had the church not been between services. And for now, his focus is on moving his congregation forward. We're going to keep going strong and just, uh, you know, doing what God's called us to do, lift people up and give hope to the world. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Well, this afternoon, the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office identified the shooter as 36-year-old Janice Ivonne Moreno. Houston's police chief said at a press conference today that she was the biological mother to the critically injured 7-year-old boy. Police say during the incident, the shooter claimed to have a bomb, but after searching her backpack following the incident, no explosives were found. They also say that she was also spraying some type of substance on the ground. Uh, we have some relief tonight for the relatives and friends of two Israeli hostages rescued from Hamas over the weekend. Israeli Defense Forces carried out the rescue mission during a wave of airstrikes in the south of Gaza. Hostages Fernando Simon Marman and Luis Har reunited with loved ones for the first time in months. A lot of tears, hugs, not many words. Just being together, surrounded by the family, and surrounded by our beloved people that were without us for so long. Israeli Defense Forces raided a building in the city of Rafah where the two men had been held. Israeli officials also say more than 100 hostages remain held in Gaza. Hamas's health authority says roughly 100 Palestinians were killed in the airstrikes. 
A member of former President John F. Kennedy's family expressing anger over a relative's presidential campaign commercial that aired during the Super Bowl this year. The spot used our, uh, the spot used repurposed footage from JFK's 1960 presidential campaign. Images of Robert F. Kennedy Jr., an independent presidential candidate, were uh, imposed over the older campaign vi uh, video. Kennedy's cousin, Bobby Shriver, son of JFK's sister, said his mother would be appalled by Robert Kennedy Jr.'s health care reviews. Now, the candidate said a political action committee that supports his candidacy made the ad and that federal election law prevented his campaign from consulting with the super PAC over the ad. Kennedy, RFK Jr., has apologized if the ad caused, quote, anyone in my family pain, end quote. A big change coming to Instagram, the platform run by parent company Meta, who also owns Facebook, says it will adjust what political content looks like. Instagram will stop recommending political content from accounts that users don't follow. The company says this will also apply to Threads. That's another social media platform. The platform will add a uh, setting that actually lets users opt in to political content recommendations. Customization tools will later roll out on Facebook. Back here at home, the eldest Yakima Nation elder, Dr. Virginia Rosalind Beavery, died Thursday in Sunnyside, right near her home on the Yakima Nation at the age of 102. Now, Beaver was a, uh, Beavery was a World War II uh, veteran, an accomplished linguist, a teacher, mentor, and author. She was also a driving force behind keeping Yakima culture and language alive and recorded. She painstakingly collected traditional stories from elders across the region, publishing it as a book in 1974, a book that she actually updated and republished in 2022 when she was 101 years old. She was buried earlier this morning at McCoy Cemetery in Toppenish. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up this week, but a staple of the holiday could cost a lot more details when we come on back. Plus, beautiful weather today across the mid-Columbia. Saw a little bit of rain, but uh, how's it looking for the rest of this week? Our Stacey Lee is back. She's tracking the developments in her first alert forecast. I-82's Fred G. Redman Bridge on Fly the Northwest, Tuesday. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you gotta go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at A&W, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. This all-time great deal is available Tuesdays only at A&W. Shopping online for a purple mattress? We get it. With Purple's unique Gel Flex grid and multiple foam layers, you'll experience effortless sleep that's motion adaptive, temperature balanced, pressure relieving, and ultra supportive. But which Purple mattress is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. And during Purple's President's Day event, save up to $800 on select mattress and adjustable base bundles. Shop Purple at Denver Mattress, the easiest way to find your perfect purple. Stan, you're right. The only thing better than video games are virtual reality video games. Especially when you're in a player versus player battle arena. And you're right about Hollowgate being another fun thing you could do at Triple Play. Yes, I win another round. That makes Roy 9 Stan 3. Epic comeback incoming. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including bowling, ropes course, and many more. All attached to a cozy hotel. If I wasn't too big to fit in there, I'd whoop them both. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through March 31st, receive rebates up to $1,600 off on a new Daikin Fit system and thermostat when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. When you have moderate to severe eczema, it's okay to show off. With Dupixin, show off your clearer skin and less itch. Because you have plenty of reasons to show off your skin. 
With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, you can stay ahead of your eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your skin from within. Many adults saw 90% clearer skin. Some even achieved long-lasting clearer skin and fast itch relief after first dose. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixit. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Yay! Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Welcome back. Just before the break, we were discussing the Yakima elder, and I want to apologize. I mispronounced her last name. It's actually Bevert. All right. Other news now. Human-caused changes to the earth have put hundreds of migratory species at risk of extinction. That is according to a U.N. agency report published today. Of nearly 1,200 creatures listed, more than one in five, or 20 percent, are threatened. According to the report, 97 percent of the world's migratory fish are threatened with extinction. The two biggest threats, over-exploitation and loss of habitat due to human activity, such as clearing land and building roads and infrastructure, climate change and pollution, also called major threats. <music> From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. All right, we had some transitional rain showers coming through. Here's where they are now, just out hitting the Blue Mountains with some light uh, precip tonight. Most of that drying up in the rest of our region. Legends Casino Sky Cam, 50 degrees tonight, so still fairly warm, but those temperatures are going to be dropping. We've got cold air spilling in from Canada, and you'll really start to feel that tomorrow night, but definitely tonight we're going to be chilly as you see that cold front just starting to move through the area. That's the system we saw moving through the area today. Any activity is going to be off to the east of Washington State tomorrow, so we have a pretty calm day, but that cool air does filter down from Canada. Let's take a look. We could see some uh, fog developing tonight, especially maybe Pendleton area, Hepner, uh, right onto the foothills uh, just beyond, beyond Yakima. And as we get through the day tomorrow, look for mostly clear skies during the day. A little bit of sunshine out there, not too bad. Clouds start moving in Wednesday uh, overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday morning, and this is what's headed our way. Our next system weather maker is going to bring some snow through the Columbia River Gorge as well as to the Cascades in both Oregon and Washington. There's a winter weather watch for those locations. One to three feet of snow in the Cascade Mountains above 2,000 feet. So that's fairly low and at past level for some areas. And one to two, or excuse me, three to six inches of snow in the uh, Columbia River Gorge. So that's pretty substantial. That could create some traffic problems Wednesday and Thursday. Our temperatures are slightly on down. We're a good 10 degrees below our average on Thursday and we stay pretty cool moving into the weekend. So get ready for cooler temps. You'll definitely want to grab your coat tonight. Look at these temperatures in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. We're in the 20s. 23 Burr in Klee Ellum tonight. 29 for Sunnyside. 28 in Toppenish. Columbia Basin. Look at Prosser and Hermiston at 30 tonight. Tri-Cities right at the freezing level at 32. A chilly 27 for Connell overnight. And we're in the upper 20s and low 30s in the foothills of the Blues this evening as well. Taking a peek at tomorrow's daytime highs, we were in the 50s today around the area. We're going to start sliding into the 40s, lower 40s for Ellensburg, 48 Tri-Cities, as well as Dayton, 45 tomorrow in Walla Walla. So much cooler than we've been seeing. Let's talk about weather photos. They keep coming in. This is from Shelly Brinkley tonight. Dramatic sunset. Look at that. It was beautiful around the area with those uh, gray skies. A little bit of rain came through and then that uh, bright orange red sunset. So thank you for sharing that with us, Shelly. Beautiful picture. Remember to take those photos, send them to me, Ashley at applevalleynewsnow.com. Love to get those on the air. Let's plan your day for tomorrow. Chilly out the door, like we said, right at the freezing level in Yakima, Tri-Cities, and Walla Walla. We'll be hitting those middle 40s by noon, but look at that. We see sunny skies. 
We might have a little bit of early morning fog to deal with, but other than that, looking pretty good. You'll start to see those clouds moving in later in the afternoon tomorrow, but not a bad looking day, just a little bit on the chilly side. Stay with us. We've got more Apple Valley news now at 630 when we come right back. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Magical moments. Snowy adventures. Warming up. Making memories. A winter wonderland. The perfect close-by getaway this winter is Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Find countless ways to play and plan your escape at cdawinter.com. Today, we seize the day. Because at US Cellular, you can get an epic Samsung Galaxy S24 with Galaxy AI. Now, you might be wondering, do I deserve a free Samsung Galaxy S24? You do. You deserve it. Each and every one of you deserves one. Even me? Look under your chair. That's right. Incredible. It's incredible. New and current customers can get the Samsung Galaxy S24 on us with no trade-in. U.S. Cellular. Now is the perfect time to get a big deal on a brand new Honda. Honda is Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand. That means deals on Pilot, on CRV, on HRV, on Accord, on Civic, and the rest of the Honda lineup. And right now, well qualified buyers can get 3.9% APR financing on the Honda Pilot or HRV. But don't wait. For big deals on America's best brand, hurry into your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer today. Wow, you've really made our dreams come true. Life's better when you're under our roof. It's... Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. I guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. I'm talking about Save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto with American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Everybody has a beginning story. I couldn't do this without my sister. <sighs> this is why we do this show. You make dreams come true. Home is where the dream starts. Anything is possible when you have the courage to chase your dreams. American Idol is where the dream takes off. It's going to make people stop and watch. I did the biggest thing I thought I could do when I auditioned for American Idol. Let's go big. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Jessica Jalor, Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. Weekday mornings from 5 to 7. Ladies and gents, here's your reminder. Valentine's Day is this Wednesday. We're less than two days a week. Oh, wait. Chocolate is a good... Oh, gift uh, for, no, what does it say? Oh yeah, chocolate is a good uh, go-to gift for the holiday. However, cocoa prices have surged and even the largest chocolate makers are struggling to remain profitable. More than 60% of the world's cocoa comes from West Africa. Climate issues there have damaged crop yields, which has impacted the cocoa supply and has forced prices to increase. Cocoa futures doubled in the past year and surged 40% since January. Other factors, including sugar costs and labor, have also increased. Hershey has said it would cut 5% of its workforce after historic cocoa prices negatively impacted fourth quarter earnings. Mardi Gras celebrations kick off tomorrow. Festivals celebrating Mardi Gras, which means Fat Tuesday, will kick off in New Orleans and in Mobile, Alabama. Internationally, celebrations take place in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and in Venice in what's dubbed Carnival. Carnival. Mardi Gras proceeds the uh, Mar Mardi Gras proceeds the Christian observation of Lent, which lands 47 days before Eastern uh, before uh, the Eastern day uh, before e excuse me, the day before Easter and the day 
of Ash Wednesday. All right, we're back with uh, Stacy's final look at the forecast next. Fred's Appliance has GE Profile Appliances on sale with smart leading edge features that make life a little easier. Smart features and sophisticated designs to simplify your life. Profile dishwashers are quiet, powerful, and offer flexible loading options. Fred's has more kitchen packages than you'll find anywhere. Save on GE appliances with up to $2,000 in rebates at your local Fred's appliance. Fred's has appliances in stock and on sale. Stop in and see us today. Good morning, America, this week. Get ready to laugh. Because when J.B. Smoove and Amy Schumer are in the GMA house live. Man, well, what? Anything can happen. <laughs> We're troublemakers. This week on America's favorite morning show, Good Morning America. We are switching to Spectrum Internet. We count on Spectrum Internet and the advanced Wi-Fi to always keep us connected and protected. It's so reliable and fast. Ever since we switched to Spectrum Internet, our daughter's curiosity has a new spark. Yes. Now we're saving a ton. Amazing. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month with advanced Wi-Fi, free modem, and free security suite for 12 months with no added taxes or fees. Save even more with our new two-year price guarantee when you level up to one gig. Call 1-833-977-4999 or scan to call. Call now. Get 7,500 purchase allowance on most 2024 Cadillac Lyric models. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. Giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer. The world's best. Put your water worries to rest. Bath fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs, guaranteed for life. Bath that has been around for 40 years, and we've been experts in showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath Fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member-owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? I-82's Fred G. Redmond Bridge on Fly the Northwest, Tuesday. And one final look at your weather. Get ready for active weather Valentine's Day and Thursday. But tomorrow, well, Fat Tuesday, looking pretty good for you. <laughs> Hermiston, a nice day tomorrow with some sunshine. Temperatures cooling, as you can see, though, as we head towards the rest of the week with that active weather Wednesday and Thursday. Yakima, a nice day there as well tomorrow. Cooler temperatures, especially those overnight lows down in the 20s with that rain mix with snow headed our way Wednesday and Thursday. Tri-Cities not looking too bad, but again, that rain mix with snow, especially in those early morning hours. So be safe out there. Uh, again, check the pass report. I think that uh, the road into the Columbia River Gorge mm -hmm. could be tricky Wednesday and Thursday. So okay. be well, safe. Be safe, everybody. <laughs> Hoping your news is good news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 11.